all right so uh, that was that the next thing uh, that we'd like to do is uh, well we know what happens to the output of the system if you excite it with a complex exponential e to the j uh, 2 pi f t. Uh, so, now the question is what happens uh, if you if you excite it with a signal uh, whose Fourier transform is x of j 2 pi f. Hmm? What comment can we make? Well, you can think of the input signal x as being composed of sinusoids right with frequencies ranging all the way from minus infinity to infinity right and the strength of the sin uh, the complex for sinusoid between a frequency f and uh, f plus delta f is simply nothing but x of j 2 pi f times or df is this right. So, what comment can you make about the uh, uh, the output of the system uh, due to this guy here. You know the output if you had e to the j 2 pi f t times uh, uh, I mean uh, you know what the output would be. Now, you have a sinusoid of this form. So, you have an input sinusoid of the form e to the uh, this is the strength of the sine wave and this is at a frequency f. So, what would you expect for the output? This times h k of j 2 pi f e, uh, j 2 pi k f s times right. So, in other words the output would be h sub k of j 2 pi f e to the j 2 pi into f plus k f s times t correct. And uh, so, therefore, if you want to find the total output what would you do? So, this is the response to inputs between f and f plus d f. So, what comment can you make about the total response? Integral minus infinity to infinity right. So, okay, let me not do that here, let me copy and paste this. Y of t therefore, is sum over all frequencies. Does it make sense? All right. And now, we can push the summation outside the integral. H sub k of j 2 pi f Right. So, can somebody 
And can we stare at this and find something that we knew already? And how do we interpret this equation? I mean, well, we can say, oh, what can I say? It comes out of the math, right? But is there a way we can interpret this? What does this represent? Forget about you know the rest uh, rest of the equation. What does that represent? Pardon? How can you interpret that uh, the, the the signal which is inside that green box? Yeah. Well, basically, this is nothing but. Think of it as x of t exciting a filter whose transfer function is whose transfer function is what? Hk of j2 pi. Does it make sense? And is this, this H sub, I mean, is this filter time invariant or time varying? It is a, I mean, this is a regular, uh, you know, LTI system uh, stuff that you already know, right? So basically, you take X of T, you excite it with a filter whose transfer function happens to be H sub K of J 2 pi F, and the output will be. Uh, something with uh, uh, with the Fourier transform given by uh, uh, this guy, right? And uh, what comment? What should we do with that signal? Remember, this does not depend on on uh, small f. So, so as far as uh, uh, stuff is concerned, it is. Uh, uh, it can be taken out of the integral. Therefore, what are, we, what are we supposed to do? Multiply this output with what? e to the j 2 pi k f s times t and uh, so now the, the, that you have a summation, you basically what this means is that let me redraw it in a so you have an arm which gives h naught of j 2 pi f so for k equal to 0 what does this uh, boil down to this uh, complex exponential outside will be 1 uh, for k equal to say minus 1, what do you get? H minus 1 of j 2 pi f, you multiply by e to the minus j 2 pi f s times t. blah 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 and likewise h sub 1 of j 2 pi f this needs to be multiplied by e to the j 2 pi f s times t and again this goes all the way from minus infinity to infinity.
right and uh, all these are what kinds of systems these are all transfer functions corresponding to lti systems and uh, the outputs of these LTI systems are translated up and down in frequency and by appropriate multiples of fs. Hmm? So, for example, if you put in an input tone at a frequency f here, right, what comment can you make about uh, the frequency content here? It will be f only correct everywhere here the content will only be f right and if you take a, a, a sinusoid at tone f and then multiply it by e to the minus j 2 pi f s times t what will be the content here f minus f s correct here it will be f plus f s and in general it uh, you know what is coming here will be, be of the form of f plus k times. Right. So, the, all that this is saying is that an arbitrary LPTV system can be decomposed as a bunch of time invariant systems and the outputs of these invariant system, time invariant systems is frequency translated up or down by the appropriate harmonic of the of the frequency with which of f s which is the frequency with which the system is varying. Hmm? So, this uh, representation of uh, an LPTV system is, uh, is often what is called the Zade expansion after the person who first came up with this right and uh, uh, these are all the harmonic transfer functions. And, uh, um, and we actually we know how to calculate, I mean if we are given uh, LPTV system, we know how to calculate these harmonic transfer functions at least in principle right uh, at a frequency f if you want to calculate the harmonic transfer function, you simply excite the system with you know both cosine and sine which is equivalent to saying that you excite it with e to the j 2 pi f t right look at the output uh, you know find the gain by multiplying the output by e to the minus j 2 pi f t and uh, uh, the moment you do that you will get something you will get a uh, you will get a complex uh, waveform which is also varying periodically with uh, with f s right and uh, you can expand that periodic waveform as a as a fourier series once you have the Fourier series, you can basically uh, 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 the coefficient of the Fourier series will give you the h sub k of j 2 pi f right at that particular frequency f. If you want it for a different frequency, you do it uh, you know for a different frequency and you know if you want to do the frequency response in a linear time invariant system, you would keep changing the frequency of the input generator right uh, over the frequency range of interest and measuring the ratio of the output to the input. Now, you have to have the additional step of actually expanding the I mean uh, 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 in a time invariant system if you want to think about it in terms of uh, the h sub k all the h sub k except h sub 0 are are 0 right. So, you just need to you know look at the complex gain uh, and then you are done right. When you have a uh, time uh, varying system the uh, the gain is varying periodically with the function of time. So, for each input frequency you need to decompose the the gain function in a Fourier series which will then give you in one shot the uh, the h sub k of j 2 pi f for all k all right. Then you change the frequency and then you know you, uh, you make this measurement all over again and then you will get you know this h sub k for 
this other frequency and then therefore you right as you can see and as you uh, should expect well an LPTV system is a lot more complicated than an LTI one. So, you should expect to do more work when you work with an LPTV system. Does it make sense so far? Right? Uh, and of course, uh, uh, the sanity check that you should always use is that um, an LTI system is uh, a special case of an LPTV system. So, uh, I mean the results should all make sense uh, you know uh, in the special case when you have an LTI system. So, for example, here uh, if all the h sub k was 0 other than h 0, then uh, the only arm that remains is, is this one here right and that is the standard LTI system that we is clear people? All right. 